What's up, Limitless fam? It's your boy, The Prez. I'm here with the one and only, world's strongest man, Brian Shaw. Brian, it's awesome to finally meet you. Too. Um, we got an amazing turnout today, for one. Uh, people coming out to actually meet and greet you, uh, get some signings. Sure. Um, it was definitely awesome to have that. Now, the first thing that, obviously, everyone notices about you is your size. Sure. So, to give people back home a little bit of what this is, or how big you actually are, because not sure. a lot of people can make me feel very inferior because my height. Sure, sure. What you do, um, what is your height and weight right now? I'm uh, six foot eight and I'm probably about 410 pounds. Yeah, that's a lot. Sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, the next thing that I've noticed is that you really are a genuinely nice guy. Sure. You're really down to earth, just you're very nice to all your fans. But as I saw when you were competing in the Olympia in Vegas, sure. you just you completely turn it around when you get in that competition mode and you sure. basically turn into just an animal. Sure. Uh, what is it that basically mo helps motivate you when you put on 900 pounds of a scar sure. back or you're picking sure. it up? Um, well, you know, that's, that's a, a kind of needs to be perfected, I guess. Like going into a contest, like being able to get in the zone and, you know, flip that switch where it's just competing and you're only focused on the weight you have to lift. So a lot of mental game. Absolutely. Well, it, I mean, a lot of a lot of competing is you know, believing you can do stuff, and so that's the zone that I try to get into. Mm -hmm. It's just believing in, in myself and what I can do, and go and do it. You know, and you've got, it's obviously worked for you sure. well. Yeah. Uh, what's a typical day of meals look like for the world's strongest man? I am. Uh, I typically eat between six and eight times a day, and uh, basically every meal um, has a you know I base it really around good lean protein, so beef, chicken. For the most part, some buffalo or fish once in a while, just depending on what I'm trying to do. And then some type of carbohydrate, which is typically rice, potato, pasta, depending on the meal, and then some type of vegetable or food. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of food. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is your favorite lift and why? What's the, what's the most beneficial lift for you, do you think? Well, my favorite, favorite strong man lift, if we're going to talk about that, would probably be the Atlas Stones, just around. Uh, stones because they're so, you know, it's just kind of a symbol of world time and like how heavy of a stone can be lift. So I would say that's probably my favorite event overall. Um, if it was going to be a little bit, it would probably be the best event. Just because I think it's a, a really good test of overall body strength. Um, finally, if there is one tip of advice you could give the Limitless family and people from the Black Hills that are watching to gain strength and size, what would it be? Well, I mean, you, you uh, I would say you need to set goals. You know, I mean, like obviously having a goal of being inside is one thing, but you need to break it down into how you're actually going to get there. So if it's, you know, an increase in training or diet, you need to pick that out and, and focus on it and set a goal to get it done. So, you know, I think, you know, setting goals with anything, not only, not only something as simple as that, but overall in life can really get you All right, boys and girls, that's all the time we have for today. Obviously, a huge example of what it is to be limitless. So Brian, thank you. Thank right you again. Right on. Yes, yep, we hope we can maybe get you to come back next year or sometime sure. within the future years. So remember guys, be limitless and thank you again, Brian. Awesome.